third little section, subsection, is all about the condiments. You mean the toppings? The toppings! Alright, well that worked. I'm a mess! It's kind of crazy to see the progression of just how messy my ass has gotten throughout this whole thing. Yeah, that is a little much. Alright. Imagine how shitty this is gonna be when you put it all back in the microwave. What's happening? Oh, I'm gonna put all the stuff away in the microwave. Ah. You didn't catch that. said this is gonna be great when you have to put all this back away in the microwave thinking you were gonna be like oh you mean the fridge and then I was going to say no 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 you're putting all the food away no <laughs> I think you're out of it now because that was a reasonable joke no it wasn't that was that made perfect sense you know what you know what, Luis, if you're freaking watching, telling me if what he said makes sense. He's I want to know too, because that one made perfect sense to me. Yeah. You know what? You ruined my... Good. You ruined my attempt at a joke, which was meant to be a circumvent into making you do labor, and that's not feminist of you. For that, you're eating a lettuce burger first. Aww. Me. Furly with burger. Inherently, it's not good. No. But I sit there and I'm like, oh, you add goat cheese and mm -hmm. a little bit of uh, frickin', uh, what you call it? A little bit of tang on it, maybe a little mustard. I'm all in. Like, the yeah. second you add other earthy flavors and herby flavors, I am just, that's my, that's my jam. Yeah, no, I think that with, um, I don't remember what this cheese was again. Romano. 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 Okay. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to give it a, like a, a C tier. It's good. It has a place. Not my not my jam. Uh, I'm just gonna give it an F tier because it should it should feel shame. Like Why don't start. you shame the bacon? Nobody is shaming bacon. Look, we all know this is going to be S tier. I don't know who we're even protecting. What if I give it only an A tier? I love the wing back. <laughs> You gotta give it an S. Yeah. It's like the law. Yeah. It makes the burger better. It just tastes great. Yeah. It makes the bun taste better. It wins the Olympics. I give it an S tier. Thank you. Carry the torch elsewhere. <clears throat> I will suffer this one with you. you don't have to I will suffer this one with you. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, God. Uh, oh. Made him. Made her. Ruined everything it touched and I didn't enjoy it. F tier. <laughs> I mean, oh. it's, it's, it's jelly. I'm oh. going to give it a C tier. Oh, God, it's awful. It's terrible. It tastes like shit bombs in my food and I don't like it. <laughs> it's like doing a shot of octopus. Or like jellyfish or something. Oh. It's gelatinous. That just sounds awful. We only have bread and butter pickles. So there is a bit of a bias here in that it's going on sweet bread, but. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the bread and butter pickles. I prefer the but I'm, I'm saying is that with the sweetness of the bun, it's gonna taste twice as sweet. Yeah. Mmm. 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 That just hits all the notes. So great for me. However, I have to dock it a half of a point. Not its fault, but because of the bread. Mm. So. It gets an S tier. I'm not I, I'm not docking it because it's actually bad tasting, but I'm, I'm docking the half point because that bun ruined it. But if you had given me a regular bun, like a sourdough, oh, that just would have been music in my mouth. 
S tier. However, it's not doesn't belong in everything. So that's my word of caution. All right, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Now, Eastern you, European descent. You and I both have a bias on this one, though. We love sauerkraut. Yeah, sauerkraut is where it's at. So sauerkraut does not work with the bun. I, that's exactly what I was gonna say. I'm like, as the meat started mixing up in there, I'm like, mm, yeah, that's actually got a real good flavor. I was expecting it to not taste really good yeah. together, but the bun didn't last. No. <laughs> the bun got destroyed in about three nanoseconds. Yeah, and then it was weird chewing on it. I would say though, it's just, it's not something people are going to enjoy unless you love the sour flavor. So it's just, it's kind of its own unique little spot. And I can't sit there and give it honestly anything higher than a B. I think it's a solid B, but it just, you have to be in the mood. That, yeah, that's fair. Sauerkraut's one of those weird ones where I've tried it multiple times on a sandwich. And if you try to pan fry it, it just kind of doesn't work. It's weird, I've never understood it. So plain, just s simply translucent onions in between raw, in between caramelized and raw. So it's nice and simple. Let's try it. It's so lackluster. Yeah. It just is like, I am an onion. I'm here. Oh, you didn't want, you want me to leave? No. I'm gonna stay here for about five minutes. Yeah, I just have like that very slight onion bite, which I'm not a fan of typically, which is why I don't like right. raw onions, but I feel like I mean, like, I don't know, some people like a little bit of bite. Like, either have a raw onion or just cook an onion. Don't get, like, bring out the nice sweetness there. Yeah, so. it, well, I mean, granted, I'm, that's what I was trying to think of is, what is the better approach? Is it better to be raw? Is it better to be caramelized? And my, my question no longer became, which is better? It obviously is the caramelized. Right. It brings out the sweetness. But I'm like, either one just makes it disappointing in an extent. If yeah. you caramelize it, you're, you're committed to caramelizing and you have that sweetness. Right. If it's raw, you're committed to fucking up your taste buds and just tasting onion. Right, so then what you do is you do both on a burger. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I'd wanna try that actually once. All right. Yeah. Ha ha, I had an idea. Take it back. Never. Okay. So right here, what we have is a Caribbean jerk with chili powder onion. Yeah. It is going to be exceptionally messy. Yeah, well, you know. You know how to do it. Yeah. Holy shit. It's really cool. And with that bun too? Oh my god. That was like a solid S here. Holy shit. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so I did a Caribbean jerk sauce. It's like more like a marinade for chicken. Yeah. Uh, red chi chili flakes. And then I did uh, chili powder, like dark chili powder, um, ancho chili powder, sorry. And then I put in a bunch of salt and let it sit for a day. And I'm just like, holy shit, that was good. Yeah. And, and just so the viewers know, we gave them a little steam as well. Didn't caramelize them, but we did give them a little steam. This one is Slightly caramelized onions and green onions. I am actually thinking that you think green onions are taste the same as regular onions, right? Or not? I have never even thought about it once in my life. Really? Nope. Well, you're about to learn. I'm a I want you to tell me this is this one was my experiment. Um I want you to tell me if you think there's a real difference in taste than just the regular onions that we had. Okay. The scallions are almost sweeter than the onions, mm -hmm. which took away the bitterness of the regular onions. Yeah. So, it's actually a big pet peeve of mine that more people don't use it. I think the things you should do, a little bit of garlic, and the burger, obviously. A lot of people just use salt and pepper. I think you really should use garlic powder or fresh garlic. And then the second thing is, when you do onion, preferably caramelized onions, but you should have slightly caramelized scallions. It's actually a big thing for me, in my opinion. And the last 
item on the list. Oh, right, I forgot to give a tier for that. Yeah, S tier, if you're only, com I give the last one an S tier only if you're willing to commit to the idea that you're going to caramelize your green onions, or your scallions, as people call it. Now, this last one. This was pickled in pepperoncini juice and sweet, uh, sweet pickle juice. So, bread and butter pickles, pickle juice, pepperoncini, and then I think I threw a little bit of salt in here as well. Um, it's kind of just actually meant to draw the moisture out. When you put salt on something, it brings the water in, or I'm sorry, it brings the water in the item out of it. Yeah, and in yeah. turn, because I'm taking out that water, I want to rehydrate it with basically the vinegar. I'm going to say a sentence that I never thought I would say before. It tastes like Japanese. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker. I can do a splay. Give me a second. <laughs> you almost fell over. <laughs> So I bit into it, obviously making the joke that, aha, uh -huh, tentacles. Right, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. But like, I bit into it, got like a quarter millisecond of that raw onion flavor. Okay. And then immediately just had this umami just going through that made me think like, this almost tastes like soy sauce mm. and like really good ramen at the same time. I don't know how. I really have no clue how, but it, wow. <laughs> I would like to try that one again yeah. on different things because I feel like the burger and the bun was like a vessel, yeah. but I was sitting there eating that and like, wow, I wish I was eating ramen right now. I'm going to give that an S tier okay. on the preface being that it needs to be in something else. I don't know if you could eat a burger like that and not sit there in my, my taste buds and go, I just tasted Japanese. <laughs> not Je Japan or Japanese people. I tasted Japanese. Yes. Like the song. There's a song called Taste of J Japanese? Well, I was thinking more along the lines of turning Japanese. What do you rate this one, Jocelyn? Happiness. On a tier list. Uh, I liked it. I'll give it an A tier. <sighs> you're just, you're just content on shitting on my dreams. Yeah, I am. I don't know why, but every time we're about to end a video, you just say something and my mind goes, just say something horribly pretentiously mean to her. And then Luis always smash cuts ends it right there. So it's becoming a trend and I'm like, I kind of like it, but I'm also like not sure yet how people think about it. So let's actually click these off.